Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today I'm doing another full face of Shein makeup. The reason why I say another is because they do come out with a lot of makeup, so I like to update these videos. But if you're interested in seeing other makeup products from Shein, I have probably already tried and review it. So maybe I could put this video on a playlist or I can also put the videos down below if you guys are interested. But like I mentioned, I did purchase a full face of the newest makeup from Shein and I'm excited to not only do a first impression, a review, but also do a wear test and show you guys what it looks like at the end of the day. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, I actually have hair clips today. So the only thing I don't have that is brand new is powder because the newest powder is the an Insta Ready powder and I have it. So I figured I would just put this in the video. I think we're just gonna start out with the eyes. So just to make this quick, I'm gonna quickly just put some primer on. Why don't we use an OG, the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and then I'll be right back and we can test out the new eyeshadow palette. Obviously She Glam, She and Makeup She Glam is very inexpensive, but I have to say from this haul of this um, full face, I'm very impressed with packaging. This is the She Glam Sunday Picnic eyeshadow spread. And not just this, but every single product just has really good packaging, especially for the price. So I am very impressed about that. Look how cute this is. And by the way, this is an actual like little lace uh, thingy that you can actually put over the palette to close it. How awesome is that? By the way, this is gonna be a very neutral palette. You guys get on me so much about neutral looks, but this is the newest palette, so I'm sorry that it's neutral. But this is what it looks like. It says that this is a cherry-picked eight charming neutrals for a truly delight day or night. It's supposed to be crafted with creamy textures for effortless application, zero fallout. Your lids are for the ultimate treat zero fallout very interesting so you guys know the drill when it comes to videos like this i like to kind of go through the eyeshadow quickly because it's not a tutorial it is a review so let's go ahead and get started so i'm quickly going to grab the shade dawn and this is going to be a nice warm tone lighter neutral shade and i'm going to kind of put this everywhere for the crease shade oh this actually came off a little bit more pigmented than I even thought it would be. It's really nice. Looking at the pan itself, there is a little bit of fallout on the pan, and I do like to like dust off the excess, but applying it on my eyes, I am not really getting any fallout. So, so far so good. Okay, I'm gonna grab a smaller brush this time, and I'm gonna grab the shade Biscuit. It's the lighter of the brown shade, and it is a very cool tone, almost taupey shade, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use that to start deepening out the eyes. I'm just gonna go back and forth with this and the crease shade until it is as dark and as blended as I like, but so far this is applying really, really nicely. Okay, so so far they're blending out nicely. They have like a medium pigment. They're not like, you don't have to build them up as much, but they're not like in your face pigments. So I definitely think this would be very like user friendly. So before we deepen it out even more, I'm gonna take the shade Tea Cake, which is like a light taupey pink shade. And I'm gonna put that on the lid just to start the pink kind of on the lid before the shimmer. So now I'm gonna grab a smaller brush and grab Dusk. That's the deepest, darkest shade. It is like almost like a dark plummy brown. And I'm just going to add it to the outer corner and create a little bit of a winged effect. And I feel like this look doesn't call for like the most dramatic shimmer. I kind of want to just use it as a tapping. Let's use the shade RSVP, put it on our finger and then just tap to give a little glimmer. This is like my favorite look to do. This actually looks a lot like my wedding eyeshadow tutorial. Obviously different products, but I love this kind of look. Okay, and then lastly, I'm gonna grab a small brush and grab the shade Sunbeam, and I'm gonna get it wet and use that as my inner corner highlight. I love that. I think that turned out really, really well. It is a really nice palette. It blended very beautifully. It built up. It. I like it. I think for the price, it's really nice. Obviously, it's neutral, so if you're a neutral lover, this is such a cute palette. Again, good packaging, good colors, and I think it looks beautiful on the eyes. Obviously, we'll see at the end of the day if it does last, but so far, I really am liking it. So let's go ahead and do mascara next. So I ended up getting the Max Impact Easy Off Volumizing Mascara. It is like a rubber wand, but 
you can tell it's going to give volume. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes like always with my Kevin Aquan eyelash curler and then we'll apply two coats on each eye. Let's go ahead and try this out. I can tell it's a pretty wet formula. Very interesting. First impression, like first five second impression is that the formula is wet, but it's not very thick, and so it is coating my lashes, but it's not giving a lot of volume. Remember that I do have really long lashes. I just don't want to sell a false dream with uh, mascara. So it is coating them very nicely, but it's not giving me much volume. Okay, so that's one coat. Um, I am getting clumping, and it's really hard to unclump it. So that's not good, but I'm going to go ahead and... See what a two coater looks like, and then I'll give you guys like my full opinion. I'm back. I know they may look good, like the eyelashes might look good, but I have to say, um, not my favorite. Obviously, it's very affordable, but you can get better affordable mascaras at the drugstore. I do think it's more for like a day to day. If you just want like to coat your lashes, maybe make them look a little bit longer and more dramatic. You might like this, but it's not offering separation. It's not really offering volume. And so for me, I'm probably just not going to reach for it. So I definitely, I'm going to say no to this one, but that's okay. We have a lot more products to try out. Moving on to primer. I'm excited to finally try out this primer. This is called the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer Pigment Perfector. Okay, so I thought this would be more of a cream. I don't know if you guys, oh, oh my God, holy crap. That is like liquid. Oh my God, it's all over my pants. Okay, so this is, um, this is what it looks like. Um, I, I don't know why I thought it would be more of, I don't know, maybe just a little bit more dense. So it says that it goes from white to nude. It's a long wearing formula. It has 0.1 salicylic acid to reduce oil and boost makeup wear time. It says to get a dime size amount, warm it up, apply it to the skin, and allow for a full minute to dry before applying makeup. Okay, let's do half of the face and see like how much it really does even out. So is this a dime size amount? So you mix it like this this is so like just not i don't know i feel like i don't i don't like this but i don't know if that's too much i don't know but let's just go ahead and what is this this is kind of thick now that i'm rubbing it in trust the process let's do a little bit on the forehead again i'm using the smallest amount because I'm not using the fingers that have it. I'm using a clean finger to kind of blend it out. Okay, so I'm gonna wait a minute and I'll be right back and we can kind of dissect the face. So it's been about a minute and I don't know. Um, it's not as white as it used to be, so that's good. Um, did it even out my skin tone? I don't know if it evened out my skin tone or if it just put a little bit of white pigment over it. Um, it feels just like a moisturizer. Feels nice. I mean, it doesn't feel bad. We'll see how foundation goes on top, but I don't see myself really using this because I don't know. It just, it, it was, took forever to blend out. I mean, unless it makes my foundation look freaking amazing. Um, I don't know if this is like worth the money. Let me know if you guys have tried this because this is kind of a hassle. I'm not gonna lie like just blending this out without getting it on my hair. So I don't want to waste y'all's time anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. Wait a minute and I'll be back. <laughs> we can put on foundation. Like what is happening right now? I, I don't know what's happening right now and I'm not liking it. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, so I don't like it. I'm, I don't even want to spend too much time thinking about it. I mean, I, I guess we'll see. I don't know if I would want to keep trying this out. It was such a hassle. Also, um, it's messy and I had to go ahead and blend this out with a sponge because it was taking way too long to get an even application with my fingers. This is just not the kind of product that I would incorporate into my skin. Um, not my skin, into my makeup routine. So I guess we will see about that. But as of right now, it's a big no. Moving on, I'm very excited about this foundation. So it actually came in a little velvet packaging and it is exactly what you think it is. 
It is the Skinfluencer Full Coverage Foundation Balm in the shade Wheat. So I purposely washed off all of my fake tan. This is my natural skin color. I'm pretty tan, but I just like to be tanner. It's not the right undertone for me. I'm more of a warm tone. This is a little bit more neutral. So uh, we'll make it work though. But like I said, I don't have any fake tan to see if we can make this work. It's supposed to be high coverage, long lasting, suitable for sensitive skin. Um, it's supposed to be non-greasy. Very exciting. The reason why it looks like this is because I live in Houston, Texas, and it's 100 degrees all day every day, and so it did come melted, but now it's solidified into this beautiful shape. Wow, we love it. Picasso. So let's do half of the face. I'm going to try to start out with a little bit of product because it's supposed to be full coverage. See how it's not going to match? It is what it is. We'll make it work. So... Um, I did grab a really, really small amount and it's blending out pretty well. This looks pretty seamless, don't you think? It like looks like skin. So that's what one side looks like. The other, I mean, the other is just a white primer, but that looks really good. Let's go ahead and do the rest of the face. So again, I'm taking the tiniest amount, like literally from this little hill right here, I'm just going like this. And man, I mean, this foundation is going to last you a lifetime. So let's take a closer look. So far, it looks really, really nice. I did apply the lightest layer and it gave me a good medium coverage. I definitely think you can build this up, but I just don't want it to get cakey but it looks really good. It almost feel like it's gonna dry down matte, but I guess we will see. So far, I am liking it. Um, obviously, the real test is the wear test, but so far, pretty good first impressions. I think my skin looks really, really nice. I did grab a sponge and just kind of uh, tapped off any excess, and it looks really nice. It doesn't feel heavy, so so far, I am really liking this. You know what I'm not liking is the fact that I look a little Caspery compared to my body, but Hopefully it all comes together, right? So you guys know I like to kind of go into um, a cream contour next or a cream bronzer. And this is giving KKW, is it not? It's like a little brush and a little contour. Is this not giving KKW? So this is the She Glam Glowing Up Skin Stick. I got the shade uh, Warm Honey. There are four different shades. This little brush um, is very, very dense. I tried like blending it out on the back of my hand and it almost like disturbed the product so i just don't think that this is a good brush to use it with maybe on like bare skin i don't know but it's just not the best so what i'm gonna do to avoid problems is actually grab my brush and grab it from here and then apply it so that hopefully we get a more even application so let's see what we can do with this first impression I guess maybe it's just not the right shade for me. Um, I do think it's pigmented. Maybe it's just a little light for me, but um, it is working out because my foundation is pretty light, but I kind of want to use this to bronze up as much as possible so that we don't look like Casper. No offense to Casper. I think if you get it, you'll probably like it. I don't know if you'll love it. It's not that creamy. Like it's, I'm kind of having to grab a lot because it's not that emollient. You know, from the She Glam um, perspective, it's just not my favorite. I do think they have better products. So this is okay. It's not my favorite, but I don't think it's bad. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna use a palette for concealer. And again, this is one of those products that I think has really, really nice packaging. And I've only swatched it, but it is a concealer palette. So I figured why not try this out? So this is a multi-fix concealer and color corrector. I have the shade Dulce de Leche. And by the way, I ended up just buying a concealer brush from She Glam. There is no name on it, but don't worry, I will be linking everything down below per usual. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some, mix it with the yellow, and apply. Oh wow. Ooh, this is gonna be a very brightening. Maybe right there. So let's go ahead and blend this out. I kinda wanna use my sponge to blend it out and see what kind of coverage we can get. Okay, so it's not blending out the best with a sponge. I do think maybe you need to warm it up with your fingers. This is pretty thick. It might be a good corrector palette for like spots, 
but I think it's a little too thick for like under the eyes, but see like over a blemish, that might be nice. I'm not like not loving it. I'm just not loving it for under the eyes, but I do think it's a cute little corrector kit and it's very inexpensive and it has a nice little uh, packaging. I do think it's a nice corrector palette. It has really good shades. It also has a different shade range. And I like the consistency for blemishes, but for under the eyes, for me, I just don't prefer something that thick. I am going to go ahead and set it with a powder that I love. This is the Chiclim Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Duo. I have the translucent, literally hitting pan. Such a good powder. It also has a uh, loose powder here, and they also have different shades. You don't have to get translucent, but this is such a nice powder. So hopefully this will make it look Nice. I do like using a powder puff. And this is just like one of my favorite powders in general, not just from Chi Glam. So if you're going to get something from this video, try this powder and you won't regret it. I'm going to do a light set on the face just so it doesn't get too dry. Okay, so for me personally, it definitely looks crepey and heavy under the eyes, and I know for a fact it's not the powder because I love this powder, but it looks fine on the face. So I definitely think that if you're just looking for a corrector powder for blemishes or color correcting, dark spots, anything like that, I think you might really enjoy this. It has good packaging and nice mirror and a good shade selection, but for under the eyes, I would definitely try out their other concealers. So going back into that like picnic collection, I went ahead and picked up this blush. So they do have three different shades. I got the shade Rose Meadow. It's a cream bounce formula, highly pigmented, supposed to melt onto the skin. It's also good for a lovely lip shade and you're supposed to have a glowy cheek. So why not try it out on the lips too? This feels almost like moussey. Definitely moussey. Like creamy but moussey. It's like a very matte cream shade, which I'm very confused uh, why did it say glowy cheek? It says lightweight and buildable formula blends for a natural glow. It looks pigmented, so I'm going to grab like the tiniest amount and stipple it on to the skin. It's blending out nicely, actually. It smells really good, but if you don't like strong smells, you're not going to like this. It's very, very sweet. It is really pretty. Is it adding that much glow? Not really. I think that this glow is more from like the foundation because on the lips, it looks very velvety and matte. But it is blending out nicely, so I'm going to go ahead and just put this on the cheekbones and the nose. But I have to say, so far I am liking it. We will test the longevity, but I am loving this. This blended beautifully. Obviously, I do have powder on my face, and it blended really nice over powder. It looks really pretty. We will see how long it lasts, but so far I am really, really liking this. This is beautiful. So moving on to the brows, I actually have an interesting little brow product. So... This is what it looks like. So this is the Brow Goals 3-in-1 Eyebrow Pencil. So I guess I got the shade Chocolate. I think it's kind of funny that it says 3-in-1, but one of the things is just a spoolie. So I don't count this as a 1, but I'm glad it has a spoolie. So what's cool about it is that it does have a pencil as well as a powder. So let's go ahead and use this first. It seems like it's not um, overly pigmented. It's a little bit on the waxier side, which I actually really like. And that just filled in my brow pretty quickly, so I do like that. And then I'm going to grab the little powder, like this. And really, you know, you can use this to darken, but I'm mainly using to set it. This is nice. It's not very precise, like I said, but if you're just looking for a quick brow product, I think you would like this. Uh, again, we'll see how it lasts, but... I'm a fan of this. I feel very weird with like almost no bronzer and no bottom lash line. So let's finish that lash line off really quickly. So I'm just going to use the crease shade Dawn and put that all over my lower lash line just to smoke it out, add a little bit of color. And then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, mix Biscuit and Dusk and use that just to make it a little bit darker, maybe use it more on the outer corner. And then of course, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mascara on the bottom lash line and call it a day. Okay guys, so moving on to highlight. You guys know I don't really use highlight anymore, but this looks so beautiful and like, why not test it out for you guys? This is the She Glam Stay Glam Stay Real Cosmic Crystal Mousse Highlighter in the shade Moon, Moon Bean. Moon, <laughs> Not moonbeam, moonbeam. This is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and apply it with a brush. Oh, that's pretty. I've not put on highlighter in so long. 
very very pretty I do have to say I'm going in with the lightest hand like this is what I'm doing because I don't like a lot and it is depositing a good amount of product but because it's a mousse it doesn't look powdery it looks like it's kind of blending into my skin so I do like that so just on the cheeks and on the nose um, this is really nice. This is pretty. It blended right into the skin, so I really like that. Yay! Okay, so let's quickly move on back to the eyes just to apply the eyeliner as well as the lashes. This is the All Eyes on You Eyelash Glue Eyeliner. Can be used on bare lids or over eyeshadow. This is what it looks like, and this is the only glue that I'm gonna use for my eyelashes. So, it is a liquid, and let's go ahead and apply it. And then we'll look at the directions and then apply some lashes. I'm not going to do a wing or anything. I'm just going to apply regular eyeliner. So it says simply apply formula as you would eyeliner and add your fake lashes. Give it a few seconds to dry. Okay, cool. Okay, so that applied very easily. It, let's let it dry a little bit. And let me show you guys the eyelashes that we're putting on. These are the only thing that I've tried from this. I had to, as you can see. These are uh, half lashes, and I've just been into half lash lately. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these, and hopefully this eyelash glue works out for us. Okay, stuck right on. I'm trying to rush just a little bit before the eyeliner glue dries down. So that worked out really well. I do like these. They're not the longest, as you can see, um, but they do just add a little bit of drama. Yes to the lashes. So far, yes to the eyeliner. Again, we'll see how it holds, but no to the mascara. Okay, so only two more products. We have a lip product as well as a freckle pen. I have never put freckles, fake freckles, on my face before. I've never used a freckle pen. It's called the Freck Please Freckle tint i got it in the shade fawn it says choose desired area and apply dots on the skin allow formula to dry for a few seconds before gently tapping your fingertips across your face let me zoom you guys in for this because i am scared i have never used this before but i have to say love the packaging nice and sturdy we're not going anywhere today so why not <laughs> i've never done this before okay let it dry a little bit and then tap it out. It's definitely giving me very light, natural vibes. I don't hate it because it doesn't look fake, but I also don't even know if you can even tell that it's there, you know what I mean? These freckles are real, by the way. These right here. So I can see those, but these I can't really see. Let's go ham sandwich real quick. This is the end of the video. Why not? Am I doing this right? I don't know. Like, I, I it's giving me, like, cute but muddy. Like, like I want to like it, but it, it's just on me, I guess. Maybe my technique just wasn't very good. It is user-friendly to the point where, like, I don't even know if I'm doing it right, but it doesn't look horrible. But maybe I'm just not used to this. Maybe if I just like let the day pass, uh, I'll get used to it. But um, it's just not, it's just not my vibe. Like I think people look so cute with freckles. And like I said, I do have some, but I don't know if I'm good at like faking the funk. You know what I mean? But uh, I do like the pen. I think it's fun and it's not, you know, as like scary. Okay, last product we have going on is a little lip balm. This is called the She Glam Take a Hint Lip Tint. And I got the shade Cheeky, which looks very purple. I thought it was going to be more berry, but it's supposed to be moisturizing, never sticky, and it's supposed to be um, like a lip stain, which has been very popular. This is what it looks like. Again, not my favorite color. I thought it was going to be more pinky, but... Let's see. So let's apply it, and I guess we'll just see how long it lasts, right? They definitely made it look more pigmented on the website, but now that I think about it, I am liking the shade. And it feels really nice. It's actually, like, thick. I'm low-key liking this. I know that people like to kind of, like, put lip stains on their lips and then take them off. I'm going to leave it on. I believe that's what you're supposed to do, and it's supposed to, like, last 12 hours. So all day hydration, buildable coverage, long lasting color, never sticky. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay, so this is the final result. My hair is just not cooperating with me today, I'm not gonna lie, but um, 
I'm pretty happy with the way things turned out. Um, I, believe it or not, have a little bit of higher standards for She Glam. I think other videos have gone better, but today has gone well. Obviously, we'll see how it wears, but so far, the face looks nice. I don't feel myself just because I feel like I need more bronzer, more like structure to my face, but um, so far, so good. I will see you guys in a couple hours, and we will end this video off with a nice little wear test, but so far, so good. Um, I, again, I will link everything down below, but yeah, let's go ahead and give this a wear test. Hey guys, so I finished filming the video at 10 a.m. It is currently 4.30. This is what the makeup looks like, and I have to say, um, the only thing that I'm like, you know, it's not my favorite, this um, lip stain has been comfortable, but it's already faded a lot and just not evenly, but it's pretty. I just think that with the lip stains on the market right now, it's probably not the best, but it is affordable. So if you just wanna try it out, it is really pretty. I would have reapplied it, but I didn't want to for the sake of the video. But other than that, everything looks great. The blush is still on. That bronzer has definitely faded a little bit, but eyeshadow is still intact. The foundation looks good. The highlight looks good. So truly everything I said throughout the video is still how I feel and everything worked out really, really well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.